I used two threads together and first we need to make slip knot chain six and then slip stitch in the first chain that we had made right here insert your needle and pull up the loop and pull through so now it look like the ring and chain 3 and we need to make 23 double crochets in the ring so include the first 3 chain it will be 24 double crochets this is first double crochet, second, and third double crochet. So you keep doing this. I will meet you guys at the end of the row. So when you have 24 double crochet, it all look like this. And you need to make slip stitch. In the first three chain that we had made so insert the needle to the third chain just right here see it's the first three chain that we had made insert the needle to the third chain pull up the loop and pull through and chain three one two and three and then uh, the first three chains count as double crochet so three more chain one two three and then skip one stitch and double crochets in the next stitch chain three skip one stitch double crochets in the next stitch And chain three skip one stitch double crochets in next stitch all right just keep repeating this I will meet you guys the end of the rows when you come to the end of the row it all look like this so you need to make slip stitch in the first three chain that we had made. If you're not sure, you can count as well. So like, this is first chain, second chain, and third chain. So insert the needle to the third chain right here. Insert the needle, pull up the loop, and pull through. And chain three. First three chain count as double crochet. So four double crochet in here. Include this one, it'll be five double crochet in same space. When you have five double crochet and then chain one and five double crochet in the next space here And then chain one and five double crochet in next space. And 
and change one okay so you just keep repeating this five double crochet in here and chain one and five double crochet in next space and chain one so i will meet you guys the end of the row when you come to the end of the rows it'll look like this so we're gonna make slip stitch in the first three chain that we had made so insert the needle to the third chain and pull up the loop and pull through and then chain five and single crochet in this gap not in the stitch but in the gap and chain five single crochet in the next gap chain five single crochet in the next gap okay so keep repeating this I will miss you guys the end of the row when you come to the end of the rows it'll look like this but for last five chains we're just gonna make two chains and triple crochets one and two and now triple crochet yarn over two times like so and insert the needle in this gap and pull up the loop and pull out two loops and pull out another two loops and pull it all out now chain three for this rows we're gonna make pop stitches so yarn over insert the needle in this gap and pull up the loop and pull a little bit and yarn over insert the needle in the same gap and pull up the loop and now we're gonna pull it all out like so and chain three and now we're gonna make pop stitches in the next gap so one gap is half two pop stitches yarn over insert the needle in the next gap and pull up the loop and yarn over insert the needle in the same gap and pull up the loop and yarn over insert the needle to the same gap and pull up the loop and now we're gonna pull all out like so and chain three so we're gonna make one more pop stitch in this gap yarn over insert the needle and pull up the loop and yarn over insert the needle pull up the loop and yarn over insert the needle and pull up the loop and pull it all out and chain three for the next gap gonna have two pop stitches same at the last gap insert the needle in next gap so you just yarn over insert the needle like three times for one pop stitches see so yarn over insert the needle and pull up the loop one time this is two times this is 
the third time. Pull it all out and chain three. So you just keep repeating this. In one gap, we're gonna make two pop stitches. Okay, so I will meet you guys at the end of the rows. When you come to the end of the rows, it will look like this. And now we're gonna make the last pop stitch together. So this is the first pop stitch that we had made for this row. And you need one more pop stitch in the same gap. Okay, and then pull it all out and now we're just gonna make two chains one and two and triple crochets so yarn over two times and insert the needle to the first three chain that we had made and insert the needle to the third chain so pull up the loop and pull out two loops and pull out two more loops and pull it all out like so and we're gonna make chain five uh, single crochet in this gap Chain five, single crochet in this gap, chain five, single crochet in this gap. So we're gonna make chain five and single crochet in the every gap that we see okay and I will miss you guys the end of the rows when you come to the end of the rows it will look like this but for last five chains we're just gonna make two chains and triple crochets so one and two and triple crochets yarn over two times and insert the needle right here and pull up the loop and pull out two loops and pull out another two loops and pull it all out like so for the next row we're gonna make six double crochet in this gap One, two, three, four, five, and six, and then chain three, and then six more double crochet in same space. And then single crochet in the next gap. So right here. And chain five. Single crochet in the next gap. And chain five. Single crochet in the next gap. And then we're gonna make six double crochets in next gap. Ok, 
Okay, when you have six double crochets, you're gonna make three chains and then six more double crochet in same space. and single crochets in next gap and chain five and single crochets in next gap and chain five and single crochets in the next gap And then six double crochets in the next gap. And chain three and six more double crochets in same space and single crochets in the next gap Okay, so you just keep repeating this and uh, I will meet you guys the end of the row. When you come to the end of the row, it will look like this. We're gonna make the last five chains. And then we're gonna make uh, slip stitch just insert the needle right here pull up the loop and pull it through and then I just make one chain to lock the yarn so yay this is the first flower for the dress so we just keep making the same flowers except the last row for the flowers we gonna connect all flowers together and i gonna show you guys how to do that all right so this is uh, the last row for the flowers and now we're gonna try to connect uh, flowers together so you're just gonna make six double crochets in this gap right here one double crochet and two double crochet and three double crochets, four double crochets, five and six double crochets. So usually after we make six double crochets in the gap, we're gonna make three chain, right? But in this case, we just make one chain because we're gonna connect the flower together. So when you're gonna connect the flower together, you just make one chain after the six double crochets. And then you're gonna bring the other flower. So this is the right side, the right side up, the wrong side is down. See, this is wrong side. 
this is the right side bring the flower up so you see this triangle right here so you just pull the needle in in a tight ankle and pull up the loop and pull it through and then chain one and six more double crochets in same space And then single crochet in the next gap and usually we chain five after that we just gonna chain two when we gonna connect the flowers together so chain two and go back to that flower and you see five chain there we just gonna insert the needle right in that gap and pull up the loop and pull it through and chain two and come back to this flower and single crochet in the gap and chain two go back to that flower and insert the needle in that gap pull up the loop and pull it through and chain two come back to this flower and single crochet and now six double crochets in next gap and chain one after six double crochet and you see that tie ankle you just need to insert the needle in and pull up the loop and pull through and chain one and come back to these flowers and make six more double crochets in the same space and single crochets in the next gap now we got two flower connected so this is how you connect the flowers together and you need to make five chains single crochets in the next gap and chain five single crochets to the next gap and six double crochets in the next gap and chain three 
six more double crochets in the same space. and single crochets in the next gap okay so you just keep repeating this so I will meet you guys at the end of the rows now when you come to the end of the row we're gonna make the last 5 chain here and slip stitch right here insert the needle pull up the loop and pull through and chain one to lock the yarn all right yay now we get two flowers connected so when you connect the flowers just connect the same you know just right on the end here so you need to make five flower connect the same and I will meet you guys when you got five flower connected. Alright. Okay, so when you got five flower connected, we need to make one more flower for this row and we're gonna put between two this flower. We're gonna connect this side and gonna connect this side as well. All right, when you got the last flower for this row, you're gonna make the same six double crochets in the same space and chain one. And you're gonna bring all the flower that you connected. And insert the needle in this tie angle right here. And pull up the loop and pull through and chain one. And six more double crochets in the same space. and single crochets like so so we just keep connect the same you know and um, I will meet you guys when you come around here and when you got this side connected so when you come around here the next tie ankle we're gonna connect to the other side this the wrong side this the right side we put wrong side together like this okay and then six double crochets in next space and chain one and Bring this flower up, insert the needle in here, pull up the loop and pull through and chain one. The same as uh, when we connect every flower together. And single crochet, chain two, and we just keep doing the same, you know, same connected.
I forgot. <laughs> When you come to the end, we're gonna do the same thing. Just slip stitch and chain one to lock the yarn and cut the yarn. So now we got six flower connected. That means we got first row of the dress. So the next row, I'm gonna show you guys how to connect between these two triangle. So when you come to the end of the next flowers, I'm gonna show you guys to connect to this row right here. This is the first flowers for the second rows. I just make six double crochets in same space like always. And we're gonna connect uh, these flowers to the first row of the dress chain one so no matter where you start to connect it because it's gonna be the same and um, I will start right here and I'm gonna show you guys where to connect it so right here is one right here two three four five six seven seven spot that we're gonna connect okay just do the same Six more double crochets in the same space. And single crochet. Chain two. And now six we're gonna make uh, six double crochets in next space to connect to the two triangle right here. And chain one. See, this is two triangle that I'm, I'm talking about. So we're gonna put uh, the needle, insert the needle in between that. Insert the needle, pull up the loop, and pull through, and chain one, and six more double crochets in the same space. And single crochet so see right now that what we got so far we got this side connected now we're gonna connect this side oops chain two go to that flower Chain two, single crochets. And six double crochets in next space. And chain one, go to this triangle, insert the needle, pull up the loop, and pull through, and chain one. Six more double crochets in the same space. And single crochets. So you just do the same 
and keep repeating this repeating the same pattern and um, I will meet you guys the end of the row right here okay so when you're done making these flowers you just slip stitch and chain one and cut the yarn okay so this is the first row of the dress this flower start to be the second row of the dress okay so you just keep connect the four flowers together so I'm gonna show you where to connect uh, the next flower okay connect right here one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten okay that is spot where you gonna connect the flowers okay so um, you keep making keep connect the flowers together and I will meet you guys when you got to the last flowers of the second rows we're gonna make that together when you come to the last flower of second row we're gonna connect um, this flower to all this flower okay and you're gonna make six double crochets in same space like we always do and chain one we're gonna connect this side first or no matter you connect this first okay gonna connect this side first same insert the needle pull up the loop and pull through and chain one and six more double crochets in same space and single crochet and chain two and single crochets uh, I mean slip stitch chain two and come back to this flower single crochet chain two slip stitch chain two single crochet okay and then six double crochets in next space chain one and we're gonna come to this right here insert the needle pull up the loop and pull through and chain one and six more double crochet in same space we just do the same thing oops and single crochet chain two okay now we're gonna come to this side slip stitch chain two come back to this flower and single crochet and chain two come back to go back to that side slip stitch chain two come back to this flower single crochet and now uh, six double crochets in next space the six we're gonna chain one and we're gonna come right here right here it's very difficult to see come 
right here. And six more double crochets in the same space. Oops. And single crochet and chain two. Go to that flower, slip stitch, and chain two, and single crochet here, chain two, go to that flower, slip stitch, chain two, come back to this flower, single crochet, okay, and then six double crochets in next space. And chain one. We're gonna connect right here now. See? Slip stitch. Chain one. And six more double crochets in the same space. crochet chain two go to that flower slip stitch chain two come back to this flower and single crochet chain two go to that flower slip stitch and chain two come back to this flower and single crochet and six double crochets in next space Chain one. Okay, we. This the last one that we're gonna connect for this row. Six double crochets in same space. Four. Five, six, and single crochets in next space. All right, and chain five, single crochet, chain five, single crochet, and six double crochets in next space. Six and chain three and six more double crochets in the same space. And single crochets in next space. Chain five. Single crochet in next space and chain five. And slip stitch like uh, right here, like we always do. And chain one to lock the yarn, and then cut the yarn. Yay! Now we got two row for the dress, and um, you guys need to make four more rows. So include these two rows, it'll be total of six rows. And I will meet you guys when you got total of six rows.